wasn't initially going to make a video about this uh, because I wanted to make this a nice quiet hobby project but uh, seeing the insides of these two Chinese devices uh, made me think otherwise. So these are two handles for the ever popular ultra cheapy Atten 858D Plus hot air station uh, which uh, I admit to using and uh, mine for a long time ever since it was new had a an issue with a fan being extremely unbalanced as you might be able to tell the rotor is not stuck on straight I think the axle is bent and it makes a horrid noise uh, when you try to use it so I bought a new one on eBay for one fourth of the price of the entire device this being about twelve dollars shipped uh, and I figured this is Chinese stuff the heat operates directly off of 230 volts I better take it apart in order to see how safe it actually is especially given the heritage of my other one which uh, uh, they managed to shear off the uh, pins which held the heater in place in the factory so during the entire time I've owned this the heater's just been kind of loose and uh, rather mobile you could probably just rip the entire thing out if you wanted to and uh, as you can see the PCBs in these two are entirely different but uh, the old one is absolutely excelling in electrical safety uh, and so let's have a bit of a closer look at those so here they are side by side so let's start with the obvious the ground of the old one uh, is a pin a press, press fit into the heater which is rather sturdily in place and then soldered and the heat shrunk and running off to the ground wire uh, going to the station which is going to main surf ground and that's um, a bit ugly but it's fine could also be crimped in there but it's probably soldered on the new one, they've just got a wire, uh, well, you can see, wrapped around a piece of metal welded to the heater cover of the outside of the heater, which is, it, it is going to make a connection, but uh, that is not very reliable, especially as this movie, the unit ages and firmly expands and contracts, this is not going to provide a secure ground connection and assuredly no security agency would ever approve of this. Uh, moving on, on the old one, the uh, heater connectors, uh, they, they're just going straight to the main unit. We've got wire coming in, heater going out, wire coming in, heater going out, and beside those we have about two millimeters of clearance and then we have a large ground trace now it is patted with solder blobs which is not nice uh, but they have gone to the effort of having fair spacing there and ground separating the main side uh, from the, all the low, low voltage uh, stuff uh, where we've got the 12 volt fan coming in, the sensing and the magnetic switch and here is the new one so what do we have? well uh, we've got the red and black wires here going into the heater and those uh, are connected to these two tracks on the PCB, sharing one with, with the magnetic switch. And uh, they are with no more than, at the very most, one millimeter of clearance between the grain for the fan. And on the other side of the fan, we've got ground, so I suppose that's good. Uh, and uh, we've got uh, these two sensor wires, which I'm not sure if these are primary or secondary side, I would imagine them being secondary side uh, go, going to, to the unit itself but uh, yeah, this clearance on its own is awful just goes to show, you don't know what you get from China I'm gonna put this thing in use anyway because I know what I'm dealing with but yeah, keep an eye open, cheers Okay, never mind that, since the pin out of a new handle was entirely wrong and the heater turned out to be a 110 volt va variety, I just transplanted my old heater into the new handle with a new fan. Uh, so, let's see if this thing blows up, in case I did something wrong. Oh, that seems to be working just fine. Was an upgrade. No more air siren when I'm doing hot work stuff. Cheerio.